we go again. Shut, shut down, uh, shut down, um, New Year's, man. <laughs> See, you're messing with y'all. Hello, people. Me again. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? All right, all right. What, 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 what do, what do I have for you guys? Okay, listen to this. Indie publisher, uh, indie publisher versus evil has shut down. And another one here, I have a. Uh, Another shutdown I have here. <laughs> Two shutdowns. Let's see here. Uh, the other one is this. <laughs> uh, tumultuous MMO the day before will shut down next month. Like, hold up, Chris. You just you just came us cut. You're like, okay, you just came at us with Dark Souls. Now you're coming back with another shutdown. Hey man, it's shut down December, man. <laughs> anyway, so you're messing with y'all. See what, I, see what I can pull, pull up here. Alright, listen to this. It says here, Indie Publisher uh, versus Evil has shut down. Indie Publisher versus Evil re reportedly laid off its and laid off its entire staff as the holiday have begun, closing its door after 10 years in operation. Mm. Known mainly as the publish, publishing stoic Banner Saga series versus Evil has reportedly closed the doors days before Christmas. After t after nearly ten year uh, ten years, game publisher versus evil has closed its doors just days before the holidays. Per uh, production head Lance James, the entire versus evil team was laid off early today. The choice was out of their hands, according to James. The entire thirteen person company was laid off at the start of our cr Christmas break. Added product strategy director France Francis of uh, uh, Finky, his statement was further co cooperative, corroborated, <laughs> not cooperative, by other former staff. Shortly after Versus Evil confirms the news, officially say it it loves bringing players the best indie games we could find. From the bottom of our hearts, thanks to you for everything. And then it says here, uh, Versus Evil, ten years in the business. Versus Evil <laughs> was founded by Zenimax alum Steve. Escalante with its uh, debut release of Stoic Banner Saga from 2014 along with the game sequel. The publisher released other indie games in its lifetime. The publisher was acquired by Tiny Builds in 2021 and continue, and, and continue as a complementary publisher label. It, it's 2023 games uh, Lit, Lit, uh, Little uh, Guardsmen and Broken uh, Roads at the time of writing, uh, Tiny Bills has yet to comment on Versus Evil uh, closure or what will happen with the unreleased project it was set to publish. Game developer has reached out for comment and will update when a response is given. And says this the up, update, this post has been updated with official word from Versus Evil on social media confirming its closure. Alright, here's the other one. Another shutdown. <laughs> say tumultuous MMO days before will shut down next month with authentic uh, Fen uh, uh, now closed doors its recent and final release days before will remain playable for next month before it's fully shut down and delisted says here uh, the day before has had a rough go since its launch in mid December and now it's only has one month left to live on January uh, 2022, 2024, a full month from now, fin Fantastic will uh, pull the plug on its uh, trouble shooter day before. The studio, which officially ended operation today, confirmed the game will retire next year. Its investors, uh, Mike My Mytona, is now working with Steam to ensure all players who brought the game get a full refund without a development team we had and we had no alternative choice but to officially close the project explained how uh, fan fantastic the complex story of day before the day before released two weeks ago and has a complicated saga days after its mid-december launch fintech uh, confirmed it would be closing down leaving the game further in question and it says hours after that announcement the developer confirmed the day before was financially was a financial 
financial failure. Almost half of players sought a refund not long after buying it, not helped by mostly negative re reviews at launch. Prior to that, it had been suddenly delisted due to a trademark claim before then end up to release. There were questions about its validity as a game. And that's both article <coughs> from a game developer. Well, the video game industry is a business. And companies come, companies go, games get made, games get delisted, and servers shut down. And, you know, sometimes they don't have um, enough financial backing or support, or, you know, um, you know the, it's time to go in a new direction, you know, so that's the nature of the uh, game, the game uh, business, so. What they say only uh what they say survival of the, the fittest <laughs> or only the, the strong survive so that's the nature of the business you know so um, when studios uh get closed you know um, it's 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 things that hurt it's things it's things that's kind of hurt because they're part of the game industry our uh, family but when they when um when they close uh the game, in, the, uh, the video, the video game industry moves on. You know, um, um, you know, C CEOs, you know, uh, leave companies. You, you seen, you seen what happened with, uh, okay, uh, I mean, uh, 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 Kotick. You already seen what happened with, uh, uh, what was that? Not Godot, but uh, <laughs> trying to think of that, uh, that, uh, that game engine. <laughs> but anyway, um, you seen what happens, you know. Um, it's a, it's the nature of the business, you know. You know, um, there's n nothing, um, nothing's not, um, everything is not perfect like it seems. You know? It happens. You know? um, if you look at the pandemic, okay, when the pandemic started, before the pandemic started, there were a lot of businesses around, right? Okay. But when the pandemic happened, and then after we got through the pandemic, a lot of those businesses are gone. You know, some 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 business uh, businesses are survived, and some saw that as an exit to like okay, call call call, call it quits and then move on. So that's life for you. It's the same thing in the game industry. So um, you know, uh, let's see, your day's gone. Uh, you know, um, the, the the game probably wasn't um, probably wasn't finished. And they probably didn't have enough financial backing, so you know, or the, or the motivation wasn't there, so they probably leave. You know, um, with the uh, with with pure evil, um, just just a part of the business, man. You know, um, let's see, where where is this? Uh, let's see, indie publisher versus evil. Okay. 10 years, it's pretty good, you know, but sometimes, you know, um, this, um, this video game industry, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's an endurance game, you know, and, um, yeah, companies come and companies go, man, so, yeah, um, um, maybe they don't, maybe they didn't have a sense of direction, or where, where, where they plan on going, Maybe they didn't have, again, they might not have no financial uh, uh, backing, so, you know, yeah. Or maybe something, or maybe things came up in their personal lives that needed attention. So, yeah, that too. There's a lot of things that these developers, they go through, you know. And, um, you know it, it, com it, com it comes with, it comes with um, uh, being a... Um, being a game developer, um, there's no such thing as you being a developer and you don't go through issues. You know, <laughs> you know things things come up, so you ha you handle them. Um, what's that? Uh, accor accordingly, you know. So yeah, that's the nature of the business for you. So let's see here. Let's see. Versus, they're closing down shop. 
closing its doors um, after 10 years. They can play those games offline. That's a good thing. Okay, let's see here. Uh, um, 2021 continue as a, a time of writing. Tiny build yet to comment on the closure. Well, it's the name of the business, man. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. A day before. Okay, let's see. Players get players are getting their refund. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a lot that plays into why a lot why, why some of these studios shut down. But um, you know, when when it happens, you know, um, um, you can't you don't get mad at the um, the company or anything like that. It just no hold no personal uh, grudges. Let's wish them the wish them their wish them the best and you know to, and just keep moving you know that's what you that, that's all you can do you know when it comes to it comes to video games and and um, companies being shut down you know because there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that us as players don't know about and um, you know um, they they just reach a decision and then they have to they, they have to make a make a decision on, on the, the choice they're about to make and then yeah go on from there so don't take it don't take it personal you know don't take it personal <laughs> this video game industry is an endurance game man, and um, problems do come up you know, so yeah you know all, all through um, 2023 2022 a lot of companies d did uh, they they do they lay they were laying off people doing cutbacks you know because of the challenge of what you know the the um <laughs> what the pandemic brought to the table, so yeah, so the game industry had to adjust, you know, yeah. <laughs> Speaking, you know, so it's the, it's the it's the world we live in, man. Yeah, but the game the game industry moves on, and um, you know, um, game, games have to be made, you know. So don't get mad about it. You know, wish those people the best. Wish those uh, developers that close that close their doors the best and keep moving. That's all you can do. <laughs> no. Yeah. What else? Um, working with working with Steam Steam players get their refund. That's a good thing. <laughs> at least they at least they they were they were at least they did they 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 gave the players back their their their, their refund. Everything, everything's good. Um, without a development team, we had no alternative. No, we had no alternative choice but to officially close the project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means they had a struct. That means that means they had a structure problem. So. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the game industry for you, man. <laughs> ups and ups and downs, man. Game industry move on. Those people that are um, losing, um, that are closing its doors and losing, um, uh, who uh, who, do, who lo uh, uh, lost their jobs are, are closing its doors. They they have skills. They got expertise. They got they got skills and they got some ex skills and expertise that they can help another studio that might look that might be looking for a. A certain uh, developer with this type of skill or that type of skill so it's not all bad like it seems but you know it's things that hurts when you see studios close but you know, you know the game industry moves on man. so those people that are getting laid off they they, they have some skills they have some know-hows you know and they can help another studio say like a Konami EA Capcom whoever <laughs> All is not lost, you know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, the day before, and indie publisher uh, 
versus evil. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing for Dark Side. Go. Peace out.